the mango tree. There lived two farmers named Abu and Riman in the kingdom of Emperor Akbar. They both were neighbors. There was a mango tree between their fields. The tree was full of ripe mangoes. Riman was about to take some fruits when Abu came there. Hey, don't touch them. The tree belongs to me, shouted Abu. No, it belongs to me, cried Reman. They continued arguing for a long time until Reman suggested to put an end to their argument. We will go to Birbal the Great, who will judge us fair and square, suggested Reman. They both came to Birbal seeking justice. Abu said, Sir, there is a big mango tree on the edge of my farm. It has always belonged to me. Now, Reman claims it is his. Then, Reman said, Sir, it belongs to me. I have been watering it right from the time it was a sapling. Burbal thought for a while and said, You may go home now, but present yourselves here tomorrow. As soon as the two farmers left, Burbal sent for a trusted servant and ordered, Go to their houses in the evening and tell them that some thieves are stealing mangoes from the tree. Report their reactions to me. The servant first went to Abu and said, Sir, the mangoes are being stolen. I have some urgent work now. I will look into the matter later, said Abu. The servant then set off to Riman. He told him, Sir, the mangoes are being stolen. When Reman heard the news, he ran towards the tree with a stick. The servant went back and reported everything to Burbal. Next day at Burbal's court, he asked again that to whom the tree belonged to, but both of them said, To me. Burbal said, Since I find it difficult to settle this dispute, I order that the mangoes be plucked and divided equally between the two. As far as the tree goes, it will be cut down and the woods too will be equally divided. Abu felt happy because he is getting both mango and a part of the tree. On the other hand, Raman felt sad. He said, You are fair and just, sir. Sir, I have watered and cared for the tree for more than 10 years. I can't see it destroyed. Let Abu take the tree, requested Reman. After listening both of them, Burbal concluded that Reman is the rightful owner and Abu was punished for telling a lie.